What is cranking, wieners? Welcome back to Maine. Today's video is taking place on none other than the legendary Atlantic Ocean. We've switched up the scene. Still have Kyle here. It's his last day, unfortunately. The past few days have been really tough. We've been grinding out for some smallmouth, some largemouth. Just hasn't been it. So I figured we put the low on some salt water. And today we are targeting none other than one of my favorite fish ever. That being the stripy bass. The stripy boys. Kyle has caught a few in his lifetime. I think as big as his, what'd you say? Like three pounds. Three younds? Woo! So we have the potential of catching uh, his biggest striped bass at this very moment. It's kind of late in the day right now, but we've got a slack tide. We're gonna throw some jerk baits, some rip baits, some top water, you know how we do. Stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go get them. All right, here we go. There's a six inch rip bait, jerk bait, whatever you call it, it's floating. Striped bass love chasing minnows. There's a lot of bait in here right now, menhaden, and you've got alewives, and you've got herring. This kind of imitates all of that. It's just a minnow profile. We're gonna try to fish these like 13 to eight foot flats. Like I said, low tide incoming, not the best. Striper don't mind. As long as the weather's good and bait is around, we should have a good shot at getting some, you know, mid 20 inch fish, maybe bigger. Just gonna give it a go. You know how we do. Try it out, keep fishing, never stop. Whoa, good one. Nice, nice bro. Nice, that was a good one. That's so sick. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> oh. Not good, not good. It wasn't that good, it was a tiny one. That was just one of the, yeah. That was really small, yeah. Small, yep. Jesus. Right next to the boat too, huh? Oh, nothing, not not your fault. It's just that's painful. My first time ever fishing. First time, it, first time ever fishing. No way. Same. That's something you and I have in common right now. Also, my first time ever fishing. Pretty surprised it was actually striping here. I figured it was all just like um, crappie and rock bass. Yep. I watch your rod bend. I'm like, oh, right there. Yeah. There we go. I'm on. Nice. About time. Oh, oh, no, just kidding, not a fish. Snagged a menhaden. Hell yeah. That's what we're after, boys. He had me fooled for good. Eater? Sashimi. Catch, clean, oh, and release. Bye. Take care. I mean, that looks good on the bottom. Oh, we got a bit of a rip here. Not a rip, but it's got moving water. Throw a topwater frog in this, what do you think? Looks damn good for it. A lot of places for fish to hide and make stuff. Keep that up, Kyle. Yeah, good one, dude. Nice. Oh my god, that's a nice one, bro. Keep them tight. Just keep tight. Keep tension. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Oh, freaking hell yeah, dude. Just like just below schoolie. Woo, boy. He's making you dance. <laughs> that's a good one. That's like the biggest one of the day. Bring his head this way. Yeah. Yes, yes dude. Go. That's gotta be one of your biggest striper. One oh, of them. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Let's go, dude. Put it there. Welcome to Maine. Obviously, we're not chasing after like 40 pound Maine stripers. This is like pretty much a schoolie and then like also a medium sized striper mission just because of what we're fishing here. But that is a beaut. That's what we came for. That is what we came for. Look at them stripes. Woo! Girl, you got some big stripes. <laughs> Put it there, man. Good freaking Let's go. stuff. Oh my God, it's dirty. That right there is a start and a very good one. Jerkbait, little one, and like a pro blue color just off these rocks. This is why Maine is so cool. Look, you got pine trees, you got some, some salad, some kelp, and then you get these big rocks. And hiding in the big rocks are striped bass. Nice first fish, let's go get some more. A little bit shallow over here too, we might find some fish. Looks like it's still going out. There we go, I'm on. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, get ready. That was too quick. I was too quick for there only be one fish in there. Oh, I just dumped one. I just dumped one. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Keep going, keep going. Oh God. Oh, that's a good fish. When they thrash like that, that's a decent one. Let me know he's close and I'll net him. I'm just gonna keep, let's see if we can get a double. Oh yeah, dude, that's a very 
solid fish for light spinning. Super tight. I'm gonna go get the net. Kyle, once again, showing me how to catch fish. I love it. Back. Feel free to go back to San Diego, guy. Yeah, back to back. Let's back go. to oh. back, yeah. Well, that, one's, that one's making the, the drag. Screaming better. There we go. Dude, that's chunky. Yeah, that is a chunky fish. Probably the same length, but a little bit fatter. Yeah. Okay. We're onto something here. We are onto something. Yes. Finally. Absolutely. Look at that fish. You ate the jerk bait. Why did you do that? Actually, we're happy to do it, eh? Nice little point right here. I missed one. Kyle caught one. Things are looking up. Oh, yeah. Much bigger than the last. Striper number two. Same deal how you're moving it quick. Yeah, quick. Interesting. They're such fun fish, man. Especially if you use the right gear, like a seven foot, seven six rod. No reason to go overkill on fish this big. These are like def definitely on the upper part of the schoolie size though too, which is awesome. Like, like these are not, these are all like over 20 inches. There we go. There we go. There we go. About time I come tight. Yeah, very far out. Well, on that uh, sand or the gravel, as opposed to the rock. It doesn't feel huge, but it's good to actually catch a fish on the boat with uh, Kyle. Thanks for letting me fish with you today, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, that this is your boat. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, wow, dude. That's a nice one. Not shabby. I got him. We good. No boat flipping. Boat flipping. Boat flipping stripers. Well, there we have it. There's my first stripe of the day. It's probably a quarter size of cows, but got to start somewhere, you know? Peace. Oh, dude, shut up. Stop it. As I'm releasing mine, Kyle gets hooked up. It's not fair, dude. It's not fair. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here we go. My second hookup of the day. I was just talking about this jerkbait and how it doesn't look that good. And uh, your boy, Mr. Striper, thought different. Oh, wow. Seven foot bass rod, fully torqued. It's the key, you just gotta keep these bass rods torqued. Get in the boat! Would you like to be my friend? Look, look, look. Oh, there's multiple. This trailer. Is he big there's or no? Two more. Two more? There's two more right All right, here. I'm gonna put my back. See you, guy. Keep him in the water, keep him in the water, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Wow, that was intense. So that was like the first double of the day. Kyle's hooked up in the back. Oh, he's spinning up a bunch of stuff. It's good fish. Hell yeah, boys. We're coming tight on some striper. This is the mission. And I feel like we're succeeding thus far. We just need to get some, some hefty ones in the boat. Okay, we're at spot, what is this, like number four or three or something like that? It's really calm over here. It's like actually flat calm. Feels like we're on a pond right now. We got blessed with some semi-decent weather today. Otherwise, there's no way we would have brought the old white rope. Nothing against the boat, but she's definitely not uh, nautical ready. See where my finger's at? All the way out there, pile of bait. I'm gonna keep a close eye on that, see if anything erupts on it, but it's a good sign. If there's bait in this area, there should be some you-know-whats. There we go, I'm on. There you go. Yep. It's crazy how we just changed sides of this island and the water is not only colder by like five degrees, but it's very dirty. This striper didn't seem to mind too much. He's fighting pretty good, dude. I don't think it's giant, but he's got a nice freaking noggin. Oh, he's just hooked funny. Not a bad one. We'll yeah. take it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Go out there. Get after. Woo! Did a little backflip there. Getting all fancy. Getting all fancy with us. In the boat. Not a bad little schoolie. Like this is, I, honestly, the cheapest fun you can have using a little seven foot bass rod. I advocate everyone who has the opportunity to catch striper, no matter what the size, use some lighter tackle. It makes the experience that much more enjoyable. That one. Nice fish. Dirty water, cold water. Hell yeah. Boy, sheesh. Kind of the tactic that we're doing right now with it being low tide, which is by the way, not necessarily ideal, is we're taking these honker jerk baits, rip baits, or more or less like floating rip baits, and uh, we're throwing up against the bank. As you can see that the water level is really low. It's a pretty big tide swing out here in Maine, especially this bay. So we're taking these baits 
giving it as long of a cast we possibly can. Longer the cast, more water you cover, the more fish see your lure. Zing it out there, and then once it's out there, we're working it pretty quickly, just like these kind of quick pumps while reeling it in. And the gear is so simple. It's a seven foot rod spinning, medium to medium heavy power. The line's 30 pound cast, braided. Oh wow, something just came up under me. It's a 40 pound mono leader. Some guys use floor, some guys use mono. Mono's nice because it stretches and it floats. So if you want to go top water while you're throwing rip baits, you can do so easily. Just kind of looking for rock, a little bit of kelp. Normally I like to look for cleaner water with more current. Like this point right here, the reason why I came up behind this is because there's some current ripping across this point. So should hold something, maybe at least one or two bitey fish. Oh wow, hang on. This fish. Either it's a fish or I just have to, oh, it might have been a, that was a fish. It was definitely a fish. Okay, wow, cool. I'm just gonna shut up and fish. That was sick. <laughs> and also too, if you guys wanna know how to dump a fish, just do exactly what I did there. Perfect, awesome. Oh, there's a seal. What's up, seal? Well, the motor took a bit of a, a mini dump. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I think maybe it didn't charge 100% last night even though I put it on all afternoon and, and night, overnight. So we got out of the saltwater scene. As much as I want to stay out there and fish that incoming tide during a perfect sunset, I uh, figured I'd just play it safe and, and not deal with the Atlantic Ocean and my crusty boat. So uh, we've gone up river closer where the ramp's at. This is actually right behind me, downtown Bangor. And this is like, the more freshwater spot of the Penobscot River, where you can catch not only striper, but also smallmouth. Sturgeon and salmon come up here too, but you can't catch those. Those are on an endangered list or at least threatened list. So we're gonna just gonna fish here for a little bit. Kyle has yet to catch a, like a big, big smallmouth, so at least we can have some fun, end the day on a bang. And it's just kind of cool to fish, literally saltwater, then freshwater on a 30 mile radius. It's just so neat. That's what I love about Maine, is the fisheries up here are so diverse, very fishy waters. How do you feel about Maine so far? I've never really asked. Great fishery. Isn't it so bad? far so good? It's not yeah. bad. It's impressed me. Yeah, I think. Well, it's, that's funny you say it's impressed you because, quite honest, it's been tough for the past few days. We've had to grind it out. Fishing in August, anywhere, at least in my opinion, is not necessarily the greatest month. It's probably my least favorite month, honestly, next to like maybe January. But even January, you can catch fish through the ice. You get what I'm trying to say. Hug in the bottom. Oh, there we go. That feels decent. Not really. Not really. Not really. Every time I say it, that feels decent, usually it tends to not be decent. Just a fun fact for you guys. But you know what this means? This means that we have hooked and hopefully successfully yep, landed a smallmouth and a striper in one day. At one moment, we we're on the Atlantic. Now we're fishing the river, all connected. All, oh my lord. This is how you get a hook in your hand, too, by the way. Oh god. First stripers, now micro smallmouth. Micro small is what I do best, at least when I'm up here in Maine. That there's a doozy. Oh yeah. He's twitching. He's be decent. Okay. Dude, they are spastic. Stop it. I beg you, I beg you. I don't also want you to be on my line either. Like the feeling is very mutual right now. We both hate each other. There's a freaking thumbnail title right here. Okay, okay. Skitsy little wiener. Stop moving. I've already eaten four of your brothers today. Or yesterday. See ya. Bye. Oh wow. That was cool. Hey, what's going on? You're a smallmouth. Okay. It's like this whole video consists of me just fighting smallmouth. Oh god. Stop it. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, we're in this together. We're in this together. Bye. See ya. Oof. Scary little dudes, aren't they? Where's she at? <laughs> Lucky Dog! What's happening? Hi, who's got you? Does Alex have you? That's me. What's going on? Sir, down real quick. What's going on? Hot beans! Hot beans, did you miss us? Did you miss, we had to catch some stripers. Oh, look at that belly. I'ma get it. I'ma get it. 
I'm gonna get a belly. <laughs> we are back at Camp Claude. It's good to it's good to have you guys back here. Unfortunately, this is the part where we end today's video. What a legendary day. We got a chance to experience fish I've never fished before. I fished the Atlantic, but never that specific part. To kind of put in perspective, we went and started in Bangor, the Penobscot River, and then basically hooted all the way out to the Penobscot Bay, which is 100% salty water. And we caught some good fish. We actually managed to catch some small today too, which is kind of like, it's so weird to go from fresh to salt, back to fresh, and then catch a freshwater species. But uh, yeah, Kyle caught his, uh, what'd you say, biggest striper ever. 100%, he said 100% gear, like 100% confirmed biggest striper ever. It looks dark back there, Jesus. Is that where you sleep, Alex? We're peace and out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate the view. Let us know in the comment section below what we should film next, and we will make it happen. And as always, folks, keep fishing, never.